The Marvel Cinematic Universe has a lot of extremely powerful characters. Hey, they're superheroes after all. Being superpowered is just part of the whole deal. And fans love to debate just who is the most powerful of them all. Is it Thor, the god of thunder and heir to Odin's legacy? Strongest Avenger. Access denied. Strongest Avenger. Access denied. Is it the Incredible Hulk, whose strength scales with his nearly limitless anger? Is it Hawkeye, who can shoot an arrow real good? Actually, it turns out that the correct answer is none of the above, because there's one Marvel legend who goes higher, further, and faster than the rest of Earth's mightiest heroes. Yes, people, it's official canon. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige has confirmed that the most powerful hero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is Captain Marvel. She's one of the most popular characters in our comics. She's one of the most powerful characters in the comics and will be the most powerful character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Feige explained that it took a while to get to the point where the time was right to finally introduce Captain Marvel to movie fans. Captain Marvel is a character in our comics and in the mythology who's got one foot on Earth, one foot in the cosmic arena. So before she could be introduced, the whole cosmic side of things had to be explored in movies like Guardians of the Galaxy and Thor Ragnarok. Now that we've made a number of movies that take place on Earth, and now a number of the cosmic adventures, we thought it was the right time to finally introduce Captain Marvel to the world. This isn't the first time he'd said it either. Way back in 2016, not long after star Brie Larson was cast as Captain Marvel, Feige told Vulture the same thing. It's very important to us that all of our heroes do not become silhouette perfect cutout icons. All of the Marvel characters have flaws to them, and all of them have a deep humanity to them. With Captain Marvel, she is as powerful a character as we've ever put in a movie. Her powers are off the charts, and when she's introduced, she will be by far the strongest character we've ever had. It's important then to counterbalance that with someone who feels real. She needs to have a humanity to tap into, and Brie Larson can do that. Fans saw both sides of Captain Marvel on full display when the film hit theaters in March 8th, leaving no doubt that Larson's hero is now the strongest one in the MCU. And that has fans speculating about what that might mean when she teams with the surviving members of the Avengers for Avengers Endgame. The newest trailer for Avengers Endgame featured Captain Marvel wearing civilian clothes and looking a bit older than she did in a 1995 set standalone movie, hanging around at Avengers HQ. This sequence seemed to directly follow the mid credit scene in Captain Marvel, which saw her return to Earth and ask the Avengers where Nick Fury was. And that, of course, indicated that she had indeed received the desperate page Fury sent out in the post credit scene of Avengers Infinity War. He wanted some help fighting off Thanos. Well, looks like he got his wish. Of course, exactly how Captain Marvel's presence will affect the balance of power in the fight against Thanos remains to be seen. But considering the bearer of the Captain Marvel name has long been Thanos' arch enemy in the comics, and considering the fact that Feige has confirmed that Carol Danvers is the strongest one there is, all we can see say is, sorry Thanos, time's up. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the Avengers are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.